Justin, I never have time to exercise and eat right. How am I supposed to get results if I don't even have time to brush my teeth? All right, let's talk about this. My name is Justin Bauer and I help busy people get healthy and keep weight off for good. In the last five years alone, I've helped just over 1,000 people, ranging from busy business owners to lawyers, real estate brokers, nurses, and doctors. And guess what they all have in common? They are busy as can be, probably like you. Now in this video, I'm gonna tell you how you can lose weight and see fitness results even if you don't have a whole ton of time and no it is not keto it's not shakes it's not even those factor meals you might be hearing about but before I talk about how to see results even when you're busy let's talk about why someone might have this thought in the first place number one is you're actually just very busy look sometimes we're so busy we don't even have time to do the basic things like fold laundry or clean our rooms and if we're in that situation there is no way we can get results right well some of that might have to do with reason number two number two is seeing all of these fitness influencers online who spend three hours in a gym even meal prepping for hours and hours at a time and if we're on the outside looking in it can totally look overwhelming to the point where we don't even want to try now in reality these fitness influencers it's their job to look good and many of them even with the standout physiques are a bit more enhanced than things that are not just chicken and broccoli but now if you're a normal person working your job taking care of your family a lot of this stuff can be totally unrealistic so you probably tried other things in the past which brings me to point number three is not having the right approach you may have done something it may have worked it may have not worked could be Octavia fasting Weight Watchers six-week challenges meal prepping trying to brute force weight loss with hours of cardio now although the results might even be there if it's not the forever type approach it is very easy to fall off the wagon and blame ourselves so now if we even think about getting in shape again we think about these past poor experiences and we don't want to go through a lot of the same suffering again yes many things in fitness do work but if it's not the right thing for us, a lot of the results are just temporary. So here's the answer. You don't need any sort of crazy time commitment. There's no need to chase these fads or gimmicks or force ourselves to have chicken and broccoli. The way to lose weight when you're busy is sticking to what drives results and something that actually works for you. It needs to be sustainable. Rarely in fitness does it come down to doing more stuff to see results or spending more time exercising and more time food prepping. Out of all of the clients that we've successfully transformed, it is almost Almost the exact opposite. We start doing less, but focusing more on what matters and tossing out these outdated rules around food, like eating after six is bad, bread is evil, gotta be disciplined. Even the cheat day mentality is a thing that just needs to be tossed out. And instead, focus in on getting the right composition of foods for what your body needs. This means the right types of protein for fat burning, the right types of fat for menopause and hormones, and carbs to match all the physical activities you're doing and then take that and make that portable, flexible, easy, sustainable. And that is how to see results without having to cook, without having to spend countless hours in the gym, or having to commute somewhere and show up to get results. And that is gonna be the easiest way to get the job done. All too often, people are forcing the wrong approach that requires all this time and just isn't realistic to follow. So here's this exact philosophy in action. A few years ago, we had a client named Roger who was an international flight attendant, which means that he was either on a plane or in an international airport about 80% of the time. So would it make sense for Roger to cook every meal, meal prep, exercise six days a week, or live off of shakes? Absolutely not. What ultimately worked for Roger was one where he was independent of the time invested. And the most important thing in a fitness transformation is always the composition of foods. So we showed Roger all of the easy portable tricks like Quest bars and having things like cheese sticks instead of bananas. And we showed Roger exactly what to get at Chick-fil-A and off the room service menu. And and for exercising, we did this around his time with bands and hotel gyms versus an overly regimented schedule that required showing up somewhere. So all of this combined is how Roger lost a substantial amount of body fat, he rebalanced his hormones and also boosted his testosterone. And that is exactly how Roger ended a 10 year struggle of food and fitness now to have everything figured out. With Roger, we didn't magically add more time, we didn't gain a bunch of discipline, there wasn't some magical international delivery service that teleports food. In fact, we just tossed out 90% of the stuff that he had been doing and honed in on exactly what works. So Roger ended up cooking maybe two meals per week with his teenage kids, but the majority of the food he was eating was either portable or from restaurants. And we showed him exactly how to sustain these results by being able to enjoy dinners and drinks when he was out traveling. Now, before 
before Roger worked with us, he had the exact same thoughts that we hear too often. Justin, I'm too busy to get in shape. There's no way I can cook. There's no hope for me. And I actually distinctly remember the first time talking to Roger. He's like, Justin, like, you know, I'm a pilot, right? I'm in a very unique spot. I don't have a bunch of time. I barely cook. Do you think it's actually possible for me? I told him, Roger, 100%. And fortunately, this isn't gonna come down to just cooking more or doing more burpees in the back of the plane. Fast forward just a couple of months, all the weight was gone and he finally found the approach that he'd been looking for over the last 10 years. We had another client, Jen, who was a busy night shift nurse who was religiously meal prepping, did every single diet out there, exercised 90 minutes a day, finally break a plateau and drop the body fat that she'd been looking for, which is exactly how you can see consistent and easy results without spending more time. So key takeaways are understanding that fitness results rarely come down to spending more time cooking, more time cleaning, or more time exercising. And what's actually gonna take you across the finish line is doing less, but doing more of the right stuff, and that's exactly how to transform fast and get the results to last in the long run. Aim to think about being more effective and not spending more time. So I hope that breaks the belief that fitness requires a whole bunch of time to to get results because it's simply not the case. Busy mobile people require a very modern approach to seeing results. So wherever you're watching this, check out some of the other videos and the links to learn how to see results in a fraction of the time or the effort. Because after being in the fitness space since 2016, it is oftentimes the overall strategy, but also the limiting beliefs that we have around fitness that actually hold us back, like needing time or to restrict ourselves or even having self-doubt. When in reality, fitness is much, much easier than everyone makes it out to be. So make sure to check out those videos. Subscribe if you can, and I will see you in the next one.